Manufactured by Hawker Siddeley Canada between 1976 and 1979, these trains are the Hawker Siddeley H5. All 138 trains are numbered 5670 to 5807. The H5s or originally served both the Young University Spadina Line and the Bloor Danforth Line, but when the H6s came in, the H5s gradually transferred to both Wilson and Davisville Yards, and they lived the rest of their lives there. The H5s were the first in the TDC subway fleet to have air conditioning, single seatings, direct current chopper control allowing for regenerative braking. In regenerative braking, kinetic energy that gets lost gets turned back into electricity feeding back into the third rail. This is what produces the H5s and the H6s iconic buzzing when accelerating and deaccelerating. When the H5s first came to the TDC, the front of the train was colored black, but the TTC had concerns of visibility of the trains when it was inside the tunnels. The TTC later added the door chimes between 1992 and 1993. The TTC later repainted the front of the train silver, while the later H5 deliveries came in a red and orange front, and was also later changed into its silver color. The interior of the H5s had a yellowish door and door panel facing the door as well. The outer part of the side door panel were brownish. These trains had a car length of 75 feet, width of 10 feet and 4 inches, height of 12 feet. These trains were equipped with a motor model Garrett 2006-22-1. In 1990, Urban Transportation Development Canada, Canada, or UTDC for short, used Unit 5796 for a prototype T1. The interior had a gray and red side panel and a red door panel, later revised to an all red, all red and side panel. The seats were all facing the interior and the doors positioned to the dimensions of the T1s. The seats were then changed to the seating arrangements used on the T1. H5 car unit 5796 was retired in 2012. TTC H5 car number 5721 was involved in the 1995 Russell Hill subway crash. The train was scrapped after due to heavy damage to the train. The H5s retired on June 14, 2013. The train had mechanical issues at Eglinton West stations, causing the H5 not to complete its run. Echo Rail from Nigeria decided to buy the H5s and H6s from the TDC, but the contract got cancelled, and H5s that got to Vuf Buffalo for, for refurbishments got scrapped by August 2015. Modern and 
engineering, dear old Young Street's disappearing. By the truckload they are hauling it away. Take it away! Excavation so extensive will doubtless be expensive. But who cares about expenses anyway? Anyway! Though we may have open Sundays, there are plenty of blue Mondays when the pile drivers start every day. The workmen do the swearing. Well, the public do the staring. And, and we'll, we'll soon, soon have, have a real subway. Yes, sir. Yes, we're on a half a subway in Toronto. We gotta get the working man on Prado. So bear the noise with a smile. And in a little while, we'll be riding in the new subway. Don't take a streetcar. Riding in the new 